In this short video, I will show you how to take your titration data and make some useful graphs out of them. Already I have my t basic titration data, my fluid volume, how much base was added versus the pH of the solution and from that I've already calculated the slope of the titration curve. Now what I want to do is first of all plot my titration curve which is my fluid volume on the x-axis and my pH on the y-axis. To do that I'm going to click the top, very top, the label of the x value which is my x-axis fluid volume here and then I'm going to hold down shift while I click on the y value the pH. By doing that I have clicked both, val both values. First I clicked on the x value, then I clicked on the y value and then I can just go over and click on this handy little chart wizard here and it will pop up a chart wizard and I'm going to choose XY scatter plot because a lot of scientific graphs will be done just in XY values and click on next and it shows me the basic shape of my titration curve a little sample and that looks fine that looks pretty much what my titration curve looked like so I'm going to click on next now I can put some titles in uh, my chart title I'm going to call it titration for sample 1 my x-axis I'm going to label with volume of base in milliliters my y value is the pH and I'll click next and I'm going to make the graph as a new sheet and that's so that it's not going to be showing up right where my data is and then I'll say finish and you can see that I have a titration curve here let me see if I can rescale my window a little bit so that you can see it easier here we go so you can see I've got the titration for sample 1 as my as my title and they've got the labels of my axes so then if I want I can just print this out but first I'm gonna make this this I don't like this so much because first of all my data is not taking up the whole graph it's only taking up this part here so if I click on one of the values of the y-axis I can change the minimum maximum I'm noticing that my lowest point is above 4 so I can make my minimum value be 4 my highest value is less than 12 so I can make my maximum value 12 and I'll say OK that's better my data is taking up the entire Y value now also I can make my data on the X value just does go from 0 to 25 not 30 so I'm going to change the maximum of my X value to be 25 scientists always do this so we can see our data better and so here's the titration curve and here's a endpoint right around here somewhere in here is the endpoint you can see that there's a this rapid rise in pH and so my endpoint is going to be somewhere oh, around 19 or so milliliters I can see that the endpoint could be in here somewhere around 19 okay this graph is great now so I can print this out Now, if I want to make a plot of my slope versus pH, then I'm going to go back to my data and I'm going to click on fluid volume and then I'm going to click on slope. Oops. Ah, click on the fluid volume and then hold on the control key and click on slope so my x value will be fluid volume 
and my y value would be the slope. So I'll do a plot of the slope of the curve versus fluid volume. And the maximum value of the slope of the curve, the, there should be a peak around the endpoint. So again, I'm going to go back, click on my wizard, and tell it I want an xy plot. And I'm going to say, OK, that's what it looks like you see here. Here's a point, here's a little peak here. This is where the endpoint's going to be, the highest slope. Click Next. OK, I'm going to slope of I'm changing the title of the plot. I'm going to make my x-axis label that and we'll put slope as my y value. Next. And I'm going to have that also as a new sheet. And here's what I end up with. Let's see, I can rescale this. Makes this a little easier for you to see. Okay. Um, now, right at the very beginning of a titration curve, there's a very high slope. That is not an endpoint. It's what you get over it. it the endpoint's always going to be at a basic pH. So here we go. Here's your endpoint, like we expected. It's going to be somewhere around 19. I'm going to kind of blow this up. I'm going to make 2 my maximum value of my x value here because really the only data above 2 is this stuff at the beginning that is not useful to me. So I'm going to double click on this, change my maximum value to 2. And there we go. And you can see that the plot goes like this. There's a bunch of scattering the points here. And then it hits a maximum here and it goes back down. This is going to be the value at my endpoint. And just by holding my cursor on that point, I can see that the x value of that point is 18.94, the y value is 1. So the slope is 1, and the x value, or the volume of base added at the endpoint, is 18.94 milliliters. And that is the value I needed, the value of base added at the endpoint. So I can plot this one out too. And that is all you need to plot out the two graphs you'll need for your titration.